Hi, welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that not only trains you, but gives you the credentials to become both a certified tech and or certified RV inspector. Today we're gonna to be talking to you about anode rods. What is it and how do we change them? In our water heaters, we actually have anode rods. If you have a suburban water heater, you have an anode rod. Because you have electricity, and because we have a steel tank, you have electrolysis. The anode rod protects your tank. So the question is, how do you take it out? When do you take it out? And how often do you replace it? You don't want to simply just take your wrench and take this off. We actually need to go through a couple steps. The first thing is, this is a water heater. It makes hot water. We don't want hot water coming out, so we need to get the hot water out. So what we could do is we could turn off the water flow to this and turn off the power. Once we turn off the power, there's no longer any heat taking place inside our water tank. So we'll go over to a water faucet. Over at the hot side, we're gonna open that up. We're gonna let all the hot water drain out. And once we feel that we have cold water coming out of our hot water, we're ready to go to our next step. Now we got cold water inside in here and no, nope, we're not grabbing our wrench to go ahead and pull this off. We've got to depressurize this. Because there was heat in here, we actually have about 150 pounds of pressure. We want to reach right over here to our pressure and temperature valve, and we want to carefully just open this up briefly and allow a depressurization. You'll have water come down there, that's totally fine. But we'll depressurize the tank. Now that we've depressurized our tank and we've actually got cold water in here, now we can grab our socket we can go ahead and remove our anode rod. Now you gotta be careful, as soon as we release this, you're gonna have water coming out. We'll pull this out and it's gonna plug. We wanna go ahead and open up our pressure and temperature valve, have it sitting in the middle, and we can pull our anode rod out. Here's a well-used anode rod. We wanna replace these when we have about 50% remaining. New anode rod, 50%. Now we're gonna have calcium deposits come out with the water, that's normal, so we wanna get as much of that out. If you don't actually have a sprayer that you can actually spray in here, what you can do is go back over to your water source and turn it on. Go to your fa water faucet, turn, turn on the water faucet. What'll happen is, is all the water will come back through the system and water will become the trickle out. You can take your old anode rod and go ahead and hand tight put it back in. Now, of course, as you're putting it in, you're gonna have some water spray just a bit. But if you go ahead and hand tight, what'll take place is water will begin to fill back up. We want to do that because those calcium deposits will float. And if we can get those above our drain line, the chances are it'll float out once we take it off. Once we pull it out, more water will come out. We'll wanna do that three, four, five times until we can get out all of the calcium deposits. Next, We'll take our new anode rod, our replacement anode rod, and we'll actually put Teflon tape. We'll cut off the water. And of course, we'll begin to install it. Now that we have it installed, we'll actually turn on the water. We're gonna leave, very important, we're actually gonna leave our pressure and temperature valve open. Cold water is coming in, beginning to fill up our tank. And then once water starts coming out our pressure and uh, temperature valve, we can simply close it. Go ahead and dry off just a little bit. Last step, we wanna turn our water heater back on. We wanna actually check our anode rods anywhere from once a year to twice a year, just depending on where we're at. If you wanna be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. That's our two minute tip Tuesday tech from Todd. Ah, ah, hello. Hi, Todd here with Two Minutes Tip Tuesday from Tip 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 Tip. <laughs> Todd's Two Minute Tip Tuesday Tech Tip. Okay. Nope. Welcome back to another Todd's Two Minute Tip Tuesday. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm. Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip. <laughs> Hi, welcome to another Todd's. <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. Bam. Are we flossing?